if you're a stylist and you don't have your own photographer to take professional photos before sending them to the red carpet, your pictures are going to look like trash every single time. I had to learn this the hard way. Relying on red carpet images never works out. This is what you'll end up with if you wait for red carpet photos. Why do you got Jordan like this? Like, what's the point of that? Versus this, where we took our time and got our own photos before we went to the carpet. And in this one, we set up in the hallway of the hotel, which you're not supposed to, so don't get in trouble. But we, we did this one in the hotel lobby. Definitely not supposed to do that, but who gonna check me, boo? I mean, you standing like you think you <laughs> But the lobby photo shoot was absolutely worth it because look how the image turned out. And quite honestly, I don't think I got any pictures of Jordan on a red carpet. This was for an Ebony Magazine Oscars event. I got no red carpet looks. So had I not done this ahead of time, I would have been stuck, wasted a look. Oh, and about the not being able or allowed to take pictures inside of hotels, you're not supposed to have a professional photographer inside a hotel doing photo shoots unless you get permission from the hotel first. But the way I like to think about it is I much rather ask for forgiveness than permission. So I just did it first, knowing that it was probably going to be an issue. And by the time they said something, the images were already done. But for this shoot, we set up inside of the hotel suite. So we didn't bother the hotel, but we got our looks. This might have been one of my favorite looks. This is a, the Attico dress with Saint Laurent pumps. I'm gonna go through all of the Oscar week looks for Eden because we absolutely ate this weekend. But um, let's talk about who pays for the photographer for your shoots. When I bring my own photographer to shoots, I work with someone that I've already worked with in the past so I know their work and their quality of their work. Um, and either they're gonna do it because they wanna get the images for themselves or if I do pay them, it's not gonna be the full rate because it's someone that I just know who's a mutual in the industry. This is why it's great to have amazing relationships because you don't want to spring it on the client and say, hey, you know, I know I'm styling you for this event, but now I want you to spend an additional X, Y, and Z for a photographer because they don't necessarily understand why the images need to be a certain way and they're going to say, well, there's going to be a red carpet so we can just use those. So this is something you can either put into your styling budget um, or just have a lot of friends who work with you, but definitely bring your own photographer whenever you're sending someone off to the red carpet because the red carpets photos are always trash.